G'day you bunch of superstars. Have you ever been filming on a full day of filming and you get back to the studio and realize that you filmed everything in 24 frames a second when you should have been filming everything in 60 frames a second and you need slow motion? This has happened to me early on a few times and if you're trying to convert 24 frames a second into slow motion, you end up with very, very choppy footage. And this is okay if you're not paid to be there because most people are forgiving when it comes to that stuff because you're working for free. But when you are paid to film something and you can't slow it down, it was a problem you couldn't get around until now. I'm gonna show you how you can get buttery, smooth, amazing slow motion filmed at 25 frames a second, 24 frames a second. It doesn't really matter. And it's extremely simple in DaVinci Resolve. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got DaVinci open. I'm gonna load in some stock footage of a woman who's boxing. She's pretty good and pretty fast. So let's put that in. Now let's cut this to a smaller clip so it doesn't take so long for my machine to render it out. So we'll start at about here. And end it about there. And we'll drop that down into our timeline. Now if we were to slow this footage down normally, we'll go here and go change clip speed. And put that down to 50%. We would get this. Very choppy, jolty footage. What we're going to do is we're going to undo that so it's back to normal yep she got she's quick but what we are going to do is we're going to go up to inspector at the top here and select retime and scaling down the bottom turn that on and then we're going to click on it to open up the window under retime process and motion estimation they're the only two settings we're going to play with under this first one here you've got nearest frame blend and optical flow and just to give you an idea what they do nearest picks the nearest frame blend does a bit more optical flow does a bit more so the Optic flow does better than nearest and so on. If you select optical flow. Now if you go to motion estimation and go down to speed warp, um, speed warp is going to be very hungry on the machine, but it does an amazing job. So let's right click on the footage over here again, now that we've selected those and do change clip speed and go 50%. When you press play, this is what it looks like. which is absolutely amazing. What it's doing is it's all the frames that it needs to get that slow motion, it's actually putting them in the footage. So it's filling in the gaps where they should have been. And we'll just bring in the clip again, and I'll, and I'll change it to um, 50% like we did before, so you can see the difference. There's the first one, here's the second one. Now obviously if you're going for that jittery effect then that's fine, use the original method, but if you want smoother slow motion then this is the way to go compared to this. Now that you've slowed your footage down and you're happy with the result, you may need to color grade it, so I will check out this video here on the basics of color grading and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.